I'd like to share several tips to add to your enjoyment and success on the water. Your rigging is extremely important and it all starts with the sharpness of your hook. Basically when you test the sharpness of that hook it should not slide over your thumbnail. It should catch and that generally uh, is an indicator that it's going to be sharp enough. Basically when fish are attacking a metal jig they're slashing at us so it's it's imperative that your hook sharpness is about as good as you can get. If it isn't sharp get a fine tooth file. This is, happens to be a Lord Jensen file and when you go over the the hook to improve the sharpness go very lightly. You can actually feel the burrs with a quality file. Go lightly maybe one or two passes and triangulate it on one side, the top side, and the opposite side. The candlefish has an extreme amount of action and for quick lure changes we have a dual lock snap and the snap in turn is attached to fluorocarbon leader. We have about two uh, feet of fluorocarbon leader. And that in turn is attached to braided line with a double uni knot. It is important when you're jigging to have a rod that has a fast action taper. As you can see, most of the bend is in the one-third tip portion of your rod. This is pretty stout right here and you don't basically want a rod that's almost like a noodle that's going to start bending right at the grip. And the reason for this again is just to improve your hook sets. There are three things that improve your hook sets. A sharp hook, no stretch braided lines so you don't have the give, and then a good rod with a fast action tip. If you're vertical jigging with a spinning tackle, and it makes it a lot easier to use spinning tackle with our real light candlefish. If the fish are, say, 30 feet down, and I know that if I go ahead and back spool this Daiwa reel, it's going to go down, uh, the, the lure is going to go down about 2.1 feet. So if we're in, uh, say, 30 feet of uh, water, well, more than that, but if the fish are 30 feet down, I will go ahead and back spool this 15 times, and that will put me at or just a little above the fish mark. It's very, very important to coordinate where you present your lure in relation to the fish mark on your screen. And I have a little heavier tackle this is a uh, two ounce fluorescent green and pearl white belly candlefish. This has been on a tear for three years as a number one salmon producer out here in the Pacific Northwest. Because I'm using heavier tackle, I'm using a little larger snap, a little heavier fluorocarbon leader. This is about three feet and this is a 20 pound test and a little heavier braided line attached again to a G. Loomis rod. And you can see there's no bend here, and most of your bend starts at the one-third to one-fourth uh, portion of your tip. All right, now we're vertical jigging again. Let's just say we're in about 200 feet of water, and I spot a salmon down about uh, 50 feet. this particular reel we incorporate a level line and when that line goes from one side to the other side that's nine feet so if uh, the fish are down at 50 feet and 200 feet of water then I'm going to go uh, oh let's see nine feet so you're going to go uh, about five and a half times again I want that lure to settle just above the fish mark on your screen I hope these few tips will help and uh, again make your next trip a lot more enjoyable. I'm a one-man show so I'm going to have to 
stop with this little remote. See you later.